So I want to talk briefly about using uh, custom fields with um, pods and kind of the default custom fields implementation in WordPress. So by default, WordPress comes with this giant thing where you can like uh, basically set a custom field from this dropdown of things it knows about and then you have this value thing. It kind of is not a great interface. So if you ever find yourself having custom fields where like all your posts have a location or a date or something in it, um, often people find this box pretty unusable. Um, and pods has some abilities to help with that. So if we go into add new in pods and we extend an existing post type. So I'm going to select the post post type, which is a little redundant, but I'm going to select that hit next step. Now I have the ability to create fields on this thing using pods. So let's say that I have, um, let's just go with plain text or a website specifically. Let's say that every post might have a link on it. So that's optional. Um, and it'll be named link. I don't need to write a description. No, let's go ahead and write a description. Links are used as URLs to point readers to, but they aren't required. And I save that field, save the pod. And now when I go into posts, the editing experience there, what I'll see is that I have this more fields section and this has been provided by pods. So rather than coming in here and having to select the correct thing from the drop down and then put the value here, you can actually have something and this will kind of format it correctly. So, so if I create a draft post and put an actual URL in there, it saves just fine. And if I type in instead some gobbledygook, pods will go ahead and save that as well, but it'll convert it hopefully or not into a URL mask. So there isn't deep validation on pods um, out of the box. Let's go ahead and see if we can find any. So if I go to my posts and I check on my field, it's possible, though I don't know for sure, advanced options. So format should be like this, allow port in URL, output as a link. So you can kind of do some like actually make this do advanced validation kind of stuff here, but there's not a ton you can do. You can control access and those sorts of things, but you can't get as far as writing custom validation logic. That's where you'd maybe use a library like CMB2 or something like that that's made to go that far. But if you just need to create some basic fields where you want a better interface in the WordPress default custom fields thing, I think this pods experience is really solid and uh, beautifully free. Um, in all the senses of the word. So um, I highly recommend pods. Cheers.